Cooper Island and British Virgin Islands. This was our view as we start off our Tuesday morning. Not a whole lot going on here for the most part. See a bit of overcast sky out there. Could be a little bit more in the way of some Saharan dust too. As you can see the wind blowing just a bit out there. Likely remaining relatively steady over these next few days. We'll get to that wind forecast in just a second. But taking a look at satellite across the Caribbean. You notice two distinct patterns. One of them a lot of blue and that means we're seeing nearly clear skies across our region. But further off to the west, Belize, Nicaragua, Honduras, over through Cuba, Bahamas. Showers and storms continue to work on in there. We do have a line of showers and storms in Trinidad and Tobago that's kind of pushing further off to our south too. As well as some cloud cover throughout our region, but really not doing much in terms of putting down any rainfall. So you can see that with our future cast. Continuing to see that cloud cover trying to work on in here. Maybe some showers off to our north, uh, but we're kind of in between the showers to our south and our north. Staying dry here throughout much of the Lesser Antilles. Cuba, Hispaniola looking pretty good here for the most part too as we continue moving forward into our Friday morning. Local future cast for Wednesday. Seeing 3.30, 3 p.m. Maybe a few showers and storms, mainly on the western side of St. Croix and St. Thomas. It's otherwise not really seeing a whole lot going on. Looking like a better threat further off to the west for our friends over there in Puerto Rico. 9 p.m. Wednesday, seeing a few showers and storms still lingering on as we were talking about that wind coming from the east. A bit strong at times with some heavier gusts up towards 25, 30 miles per hour. Not out of the question. You can see that with some of the red showing on up That's as we continue into our Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Some of those heavier showers that do work on through could provide some stronger wind gusts in excess there of 30 miles per hour. 3 p.m. wave fights for Wednesday, seeing a little bit of that deeper shade of blue, and that means we'll be seeing uh, relatively calmer waters out there, only on the magnitude of a few feet for those wave heights. Then as we head towards Thursday, notice the change. Less of that deeper shade of blue, more of the lighter shade of blue. So we're talking about several feet in terms of those wave heights out there. Could be seeing some increased chop as we continue moving forward for our Wednesday as well as our Friday or for our Thursday and Friday. And as we head into the weekend, expecting those waves to perhaps calm down just a bit. Here is our Wednesday forecast region wide 87 up towards 90 degrees, depending on where you're located. Will be a warm one at that. Want to make sure we're drinking plenty of water. Our five day forecast. We're dry for Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine as we saw with that future cast. But as we head towards Thursday, Friday, that's really when the rain showers do work into the region. We're going with high temperatures around 90 degrees these next two days uh, with some changes in those sky conditions. But the threat of rain does look to continue into Friday. I'm thinking Saturday, a little bit of a break there from some of those showers and thunderstorms. Still a 20% chance of a passing one, but really just looking at a mix of sun and clouds to start off the weekend there. A few more rain showers Sunday. So Tracy, we're dealing with the heat over these next few days, but then we're going to see a little bit of relief from it, but that does come with some chances of rain. All right. Thanks for tracking all that for us.